Uh, I have interesting news on the uh, global warming controversy. Uh, we have a scientist who has who's changed his position. He was a global warming s skeptic. He was funded by the Koch brothers, of course, the Koch brothers who are doing everything they can to deny um, global warming. The scientist is a physicist. Physicist. His name is Richard uh, Muller of University of California. And he wrote an op-ed in the New York Times uh, Sunday. And let me quote a little bit of what he says. Um, he says, last year, following intensive research, an intensive research effort involving dozens of scientists, I concluded that global warming was real and that the prior estimates of the rate of warming were correct. I'm now going a step further. Humans are almost entirely the cause and then he goes on to say um, that the average uh, temperature of the Earth, Earth's land has risen by two and a half degrees Fahrenheit uh, over the past 250 years, including an increase of one and a half degrees over the most recent 50 years. Uh, moreover, it appears likely that essentially all of this increase results from the human emission of greenhouse gases. Uh, the slide you're looking at is the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere uh, and it's measured over time from 1960, as you can see there, in 1960 it was uh, 320 parts per million and it's been going up steadily every year till now, most recently, um, well, we're above 380, I would say 385. I think it's even higher. I think it's 390 if you take the most recent measurement, which would be 2011. So the carbon dioxide, which is a greenhouse gas, has been uh, accumulating in the atmosphere. Uh, now, the rest of this, uh, this section of the video, I'm going to be talking about the Greenland uh, ice melt. This is in 2005, by the way. This shows how now. Now this is uh, this year. The left is July 8th, uh, and then the uh, uh, the, uh, the map on the right is four days later on July 12th, where most of the upper layer of ice had had melted in Greenland. Now this is Greenland again. This is the Peterman Glacier. This is before it broke off a chunk ah, and there's after you can see the line there right above where it says Peterman Glacier it's 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 a glacier which is now melting at a very fast rate I think they said like two or three times the the, the rate that they thought it would be uh, melting now the rest of these uh, photographs um, are uh, pictures of ice melting in Greenland and there you can see a river uh, a river of water emptying into a lake or a pool, lake or pool of melted water. And then the rest of this stuff is, uh, here's a, f a raging river of water. And, well, it, since water is heavier than ice, it, it, uh, it, it, if it finds a crack, it goes down into, under the ice sheet, and, it, and then it, it, uh, accumulates below the ice sheet and and sort of uh, increases the what would you call it slippage or the melting from the bottom and there's another uh, well river of, of melting ice more from another picture from Iceland I think that's a crevasse here's here's the water going down under the ice um, these are here more uh, melting and ice uh, rivers or water rivers. Uh, pool. Uh, these are all pictures of, of uh, Greenland. Now coming up, I've got information on uh, the greenhouse gases. Okay, this graph is um, the carbon dioxide uh, parts per million over time and the left you can see it starts at 1750 and carbon level is uh, well below 300 it looks like 275 parts per million and then it increases slowly until 1950 
And then it, okay, after 1950, the uh, CO2 in the atmosphere increases up to pa past 350, up getting close to 400. And then you can see the projection. It's it's projected to go up to what 400 parts per million. Uh, okay, billions of metric tons of carbon uh, per year emitted, and this shows the different um, oh, oh contributors. So you can see uh, cement uh, production is a great uh, contributor to CO uh, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Uh, let's see deforestation. And then I think the black line, oh, the black line is the total, the total of all, and then the uh, red line is fossil fuels. And you can see there it's 10 billion metric tons a year. <laughs> 10 billion metric tons a year of carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere. Okay, this breaks it down by the different fossil fuels. Uh, let's see, the black line is the total, and you can see it's going up to, wow, Seven a billion or seven billion? Oh, uh, that's seven billion metric tons of CO2 in the atmosphere. Metric tons, seven billion. Uh, you can see in this graph of how after 1950, it, the CO2 emissions just explode, and they go up to uh, seven billion. And then you can see blue is uh, petroleum emissions of. of CO2, a uh, green is coal emissions of CO2, the red is natural gas, uh, which is rel not as bad as coal or uh, uh, petroleum.